This training video is brought to you by K Alliance. K Alliance provides high quality instructor led training videos for desktop, IT, and soft skills. Visit us online at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven day trial. Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching, and we hope you learned something new. Real videos, real learning, real success. In this demo now, we want to look at how we create our site collections. So now that we have web apps, we now have the ability to start creating our site collections. And you can actually have multiple site collections within your web apps. So let's go ahead and bring up our central administration again. And you can see here that we were working on earlier, we were working on our web applications, of which we have a couple of them now. Let's go back to application management. A part of application management is the ability to create and work with uh, the site collections. Okay, so under web applications comes the next heading called site collections. And you can see a number of options here to manage them, delete them. Um, we can take a look at who's using them. Okay, specify quotas on them and so on. But let's go to creating a site collection. So as we go through, the first thing we need to do is choose when we're creating a site collection, well, which web app are we creating it in? Notice the currently selected web app is contractors, but I could change that if I needed to. In fact, let's just do that because it's a little bit of a clunky process. It pops up here and I can see a couple of them. It's either the SharePoint one or the contractors web app. So you would just choose the hyperlink of the one where you want to create a site collection. Now while I'm here, let me highlight something. First of all, I would give it a title. Let's say I wanted the site collection uh, to be called my investment banking division. I'll give it a, uh, a shorter title of slash IBD. Actually, let's make it a longer title. Investment banking division. Okay, I could give it a description, but this is going to be the title and description of the new site. This will be the top level site. So I'm creating a site collection, but really when you first create it, all you get is the first top level site. After that, you have to go into the site itself to start creating subsites within that collection. So really what I'm doing is creating the first site at the top. Now, I wanted to point out the managed paths. Here it is. SharePoint.contasso.com, because that's the web app I chose. I don't get to change that. But here are the managed paths. I only have two choices. So where am I going to put this, um, this uh, site collection that I'm creating? And let's say I want the URL to be something short like IBD. So once I create this, it'll be SharePoint.contasso.com slash site slash IBD that'll take me to that particular site collection. Now notice the options. I only have a couple of them. Where are the ones I created earlier? Well, there we are on a different web application. So let's come back here and say change web application again. Let's go back to our contractor's web app. Okay, and I'll go ahead and type it in here again, investment banking division. Okay, and it's going to be IBD is the shorthand URL I want to use. But notice now the managed paths. I can either put this directly in the root, in which case I, I don't specify anything else. It'll just quite frankly be the one root uh, website. If someone goes to contractors.contasso.com, this is the website that they will get to. In which case I would probably rename this and call it contractors, <laughs> something to that effect. But that's not what I want to do. I want to put it in my departments. If you remember, I created a managed path called departments. And I'm going to put it in there and call it my IBD. So slash department slash IBD. So this gives us a level of control over where we place things and what it looks like. Now, as I scroll down a little bit further here, I have to choose a template. And it does give me a little bit of backwards compatibility to 2010. If I want to have a user experience that's more like 2010. Otherwise, I'm choosing from a number of templates for what this site is going to look like. Is it a blog template, a developer site, a team site? If I click on Enterprise, there's a number of different 
uh, site templates in here, publishing site templates, like a, a publishing portal, product catalog. So we don't want to get into too much detail on all the different site templates at the moment. Uh, one of the main ones that, that ends up being used is the, the standard team site, probably one of the most popular. We must specify a primary um, site collection administrator, and I can either type their name and try to look them up, or I can browse uh, and try to find people through here. Let's see. Oh, let's click Active Directory. And let's choose Adam. So I select somebody. I'm going to choose Adam right there. And he's going to be the primary site collection administrator. Only one user login can be provided. Security groups are not supported. A secondary site collection administrator, again, only one user login. So the site collection administrators, we can only have two. And we would choose them in here. Let's see, I think there's an Allen. There we go. Adam and Allen are going to be our primary and our secondary. And then we can choose a quota to apply. If we had defined any particular quotas that have to do with storage limits. So as I create the site collection, I can limit um, how much storage can be uploaded into libraries and lists and everything else that goes into this particular uh, site collection. So we're about to create one called Investment Banking Division. And we'll go ahead and click OK. Now keep in mind, I have yet to create one, if I scroll up here while it's thinking, that's in the root. I don't necessarily have to, but if someone just goes to the root of contractors.contasso.com, I've yet to put a site there. It doesn't go anywhere. So in fact, this particular site collection that I'm creating is in a managed path a little bit uh, deeper down. But quite often, it's not uncommon to create at least a landing page of some sort in the root of your um, URLs, so that when people just type the simple fully qualified domain name without any slashes, they will um, get to something, <laughs> some sort of a landing page, informational page, or something to that effect. So that's a little bit about creating our site collections and some of the configuration options that are available on it. It says it's working on it, says it shouldn't take too long, and that's somewhat true, but a little bit too long maybe for this video. So uh, those are the options for creating the site collections and you know the next steps then would be to start to go in and develop content to make those sites those websites uh, look good and be functional we hope you enjoyed this preview video please click on the like button below if you did and subscribe to our youtube channel be sure to visit us at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven-day trial today you could learn a lot in a week